Alrighty, hello soul family. Um it has been a heavy few days and I just want to say that it's okay if you've been crying these last few days a bunch of times. Um, when we choose better for ourselves and when we decide to no longer walk the path of chaos, destruction, drama, um, pain, it is it is worthy of crying. You're, you're okay to cry. Um, it takes so much strength to let go of things, uh, the old version of yourself. Um, and I was really sitting there and I was thinking about how when I when I decided that I was no longer going to be have this personality trait that I noticed in myself that whenever someone would say something to me that was hurtful, I would hit them back where it hurts. Um, my, if my ego ever felt offended in any conversation, the goal was to destroy. Um, and I realized that that gets me nowhere and it just makes me feel as nasty as the person that threw the energy my way. Um, and God recently called me to forgive someone. And when I tell you, it wasn't the first time God had whispered to me that I needed to forgive this person. But this was the first time where I realized how, its effect that it's had on me with not forgiving this person. How it allowed me to lower my vo vibration after all of the work that I did. Because I wanted to be tit for tat, tit for tat, you know, um, hate versus hate, hate versus hate. And it really, it wasn't serving me. It wasn't serving my highest good. And it was, it was necessary. It was really just keeping me stuck and stagnant. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, God, where, where's the messages? Where's the messages? But I knew what God wanted me to do. I just didn't, I was not in the place to do it until I really just said that I had enough. And now for the first time in my life, I can understand why forgiveness isn't for the person, but it's for you. And it feels lighter and it feels sad. It feels happy. It feels, there's so many different feelings that cannot even be described with one word. So it's just like, I want you guys to know that this journey, it is, it's not, it, it don't ever make no sense sometimes, you know, it just, we don't know nothing really. That's all I can say is God is really pulling the strings and he knows what's best for us. So God had recently told me to forgive this person. Um, and I got up one day and their ancestors spoke to me. And my my ancestors, ancestors spoke to me. And they basically told me to write down something. So I'm writing as I'm writing. I don't reread it until afterwards. And then my ancestors told me that I needed to write a letter separately from what her ancestors had to say to her. And one thing I realized is that for me, I can't get closure until I say how I feel about a situation. When we decide to bury our feelings down deep and just be like, you know what, well, forget this person or fuck this person or um, it's their loss, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever you tell yourself or you try to like switch up how you feel about them because they hurt you. That doesn't allow you to heal. That actually puts a bandaid over the wound and that's why it continues to get even more painful. It takes strength to admit that your feelings are hurt. It's not you admitting that your feelings are hurt. It's not for the other person, but it's for you. And my ancestors were so happy, so happy for me that I decided to be the bigger person. For the first time in my life, I decided to be the bigger person. I've never, ever, 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 ever decided to be the bigger person. It was just like, you want to take it there? Let me show you how far I could go. And this is not to hate on that version of me. That version of me is coming from a wounded place. That version of me is coming from a hurt place. It's to give myself compassion and love and know that forgiving this person is to free my own heart. Um, and when I tell you guys this release that I felt immediately after um, deciding to just let go, there's nothing like it. Um, I can already feel the difference in my energy, in where I'm going, um, and really just choosing to leave chaos behind. Chaos and petty dramas is distractions from your goals. They're all distractions from yourself. It is this is just a distraction from what you're running from, and what you're running from is yourself, right? Um, this is no longer the season where you abandon yourself. This is the season where you show up for yourself in the best ways you can, in the best ways that you have for people. If 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 anything, this lesson has to, had to teach you. If you took away any lesson from this heartbreak, is you deserve to be put 
first the reason why you're even crying so much is because you didn't put that love into you you know your younger self your inner child is watching you bend over backwards for this person or completely take out your pride your your sense of self-worth for this person when they just want you to show up for you showing up for you can mean different things it could mean going to bed on time resting not scrolling because you you had a long work day and you feel like you know what i need to at least watch netflix no go to bed there's nothing like rest there's nothing like rest food and water and i realized this even when i first started therapy that was the first thing my therapist said to me was that you need sleep you need water and you need rest and you need exercise move, movement of your body incorporating all of those things in my life has made a difference and i noticed that if one day is off where i don't get rest i am a cranky 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 person so that's to show you that we truly never really grow up even as adults we need naps even as <laughs> yeah um teenagers you need naps it doesn't matter how old you are older people we all need naps because we're all kids at heart we're all kids at heart regardless of how old we are we're all kids at heart and taking care of our basic needs first will allow us to feel safer in our bodies I'm just here to say, guys, I'm very proud of you for making the decision to no longer operate on the frequency that you were before. This shift is going to bring you into the timeline where all of your desires manifest. You are a master manifester, and I want you to write down the things that you've already written down that have manifested in your life already so far. And every time you doubt yourself in terms of saying that I can't manifest this, I can't manifest this, go back and look at it go back and look at it make a vision board as to how you want your dream life to look and just watch as it pours in little bit by little and recently i was um i decided to so i have a bunch of vision boards in my room um and the side where my bigger vision boards are i haven't looked at it for a while because i've just kind of been doing all this spiritual work um and so i decided to go back over there and hang up one of my jewelries and after having that hard conversation, the first thing I noticed on my vision board was this quote that says, you are not for everyone. And I think that is the major lesson that spirit was trying to teach us here is that someone doesn't have to be a bad person for you to not be for them, right? You don't have to demonize them. You could just say, this is not my person and that's okay, okay? Um, it doesn't mean that you are letting this person get away with what they've done. It is just you simply accepting that there's better out there for you that there is more aligned people out there for you and you making that simple decision you will start to notice the magic in your life because guess what you no longer are settling for scra for scraps you're no longer selling for less you're settling for you're not settling period you're just choosing what's best for you and i think this was to show you more about yourself because you didn't really understand who you were at your core you just became and morphed into this person that everybody told you 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 were you know and it created the super person of all of the external validation all of the external beliefs that other people had on you it became your personality but you still felt empty on the inside because you didn't really resonate with those things but now that you're deciding to choose yourself and choose healthy boundaries, choose healthy people, you're beginning to see who you really are, who your authentic person, who the authentic version of you is. And it's not anything that anyone has told you in the past. And it, it can feel scary. I trust me. I get that. But you are on the right track and it's only going to get better from here. You're only going to continue to learn and develop an even stronger relationship with yourself okay um i brought out some cards let's see let's see which cards to share with you guys so i had pulled three cards in my meditation today from my wisdom oracle deck and i felt like i needed to share it today so i'm gonna share it with you guys so first of all this card that says clean up some of you guys you're you're surrounded by a lot of clutter and spirit is saying that it's time for you to throw out old items that remind you of who you used to be remove things that remind you of who you used to be because you are entering into a completely new reality you need to declutter donate what no longer resonates with you try on those clothes if they don't resonate anymore it's time to throw them away and not only that like um recently i completely deleted my instagram and i completely um removed a whole bunch of people from my contacts list that those are also energetic con connections as well when we keep people 
when we follow people that's an energetic connection and you also you just seeing their profile pop up on your feet is a reminder of whatever experience you guys shared together um so just removing that because guess what we know nothing even belongs to us i promise you it feels scary until it, it doesn't so i began with throwing out a whole bunch of my old t-shirts that reminded me of who i used to be because i was like okay i'm not on that frequency anymore um removing my my follower completely deleting my instagram and starting over because this is the new version of me and i don't need to be reminded of my past because that's not who i am anymore the past doesn't exist i left it there and it felt so like it felt so freeing because it's just like you don't exist anymore just because I deleted my Instagram. You see how social media isn't real because it's just like, where'd they go? They went off into the abyss. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but it's just to say, guys, if whatever you need to do to fully support this new version of you, if you need to cut your hair, if you need to start over, it's okay. Spirit will support you regardless, okay? Um chaos and conflict i pulled as well this card basically talked about how you are no longer in the frequency of chaos and conflict but to to let you know that through chaos and whatever you're dealing with um that feels like you couldn't bear it or it felt so like it felt so almost like you just you felt like you couldn't breathe spirit was saying that that was for your growth okay you are able to grow when you are put into uncomfortable situations you grow the most when you're uncomfortable okay um and after any storm <laughs> there must be sun okay there must be a sense of <sighs> okay and now is the time for you to be resting and just relaxing um i pulled the soulmates card in reverse and this talks about how when we meet certain people in our lives and this re this relationship although it may have come to an end it should be honored because we <laughs> without those lessons we would not have been able to evolve right so being thankful for the lessons that people come into our life and teach us and that is one of the things my ancestors told me last night too it's like you you did a good job and this person was able to teach you the lesson that you needed to know about yourself to grow and not look at it from a standpoint of what was me and oh my god i can't make friends oh my god like relationships don't work out for me no what did this teach you about yourself every time something does not work out there's a lesson in it so you can take that with you to the next situation the next person and the, the next connection what did you learn about yourself you need to start writing that down what did i learn from this connection completely switch your your, your pov okay um so those are just the cards i wanted to share and then i'm going to pull angels and aura oracle deck because i feel like the angels are really like surrounding us right now during this these times of transformation and the thing is that i was watching this video and this guy was talking about how angels they very they're very impressed with us like and very impressed with our work because we it takes a lot to be able to come to earth this realm and choose to walk in the frequency of unconditional love and choose to be on the frequency of love it takes so much because you really have to swallow that ego that ego that thinks it's trying to protect you right so it keeps you from it keeps you from basically walking in unconditional love right the ego is based off fear um but angels are very impressed with us because especially during the time now where spiritual warfare is so high it is interesting you know it's just very interesting all right let me flip and see any messages spirit we have an open heart and an open mind at this time any guided messages from the angels okay let's see okay archangel Raphael. okay so he comes through with a message for love travel humor and vitality so what i'm getting before i even um open this is Focusing on our health right now is the best thing you can do. Mental and physical health right now. Eat nutritious foods, eat green foods, eat anything that can really support you and connect you back to Mother Earth um, is what I'm getting called to tell you guys as well. Okay, so let's see what the messages are. Archangel Raphael Green 14. Okay, Archangel Raphael means God heals. And indeed, the primary reason that people ask for his help is related to 
healing their physical bodies. However, there is more to Raphael than just that. He is known as the Archangel of Travel. Hold on a second. So some of you guys may be um, traveling recent, recently or soon. Um, this trip, I'm getting told that it's going to be very good for your mental health right now. Just let go. Do not focus on anything that you've left at home. Just fully embrace letting go and just being present. Um, yes. So we all we always ask for his blessings when we fly to other locations. Okay, Raphael, I ask for your blessing. Um, Archangel Raphael, I will be traveling soon, shortly too as well, so please protect me. Um, Raphael is also known to be a bit of a matchmaker, and his color is the same as the color of the heart chakra. For this very reason, in some old references, Raphael is said to be the friendliest of the Archangels and is known for his sense of humor. Also, some of you guys, the ending of a connection spirit is saying that they're sending in soulmate connections. They're sending in... Um, whether that be friendships or whether that be romantic because now that you've known now that you get to see yourself from a different perspective and know that what you don't want you are more clear on what you do want so spirit will send in exactly what you're looking for your match in terms of friendships or in terms of um, romantic connections okay um so just be open to that and not take the pain for more than what it is okay do not say i am destined to have terrible connections that's not that's not what that was not the lesson okay the lesson was what is it that you're looking for in friendships what is it that is a better connection for you what is it that you value in friendships what is it that you value in relationships okay um However, we personally think all the archangels are super friendly and funny. Brilliant green is the color of communication and creativity. When green is present in the aura, the person is a master communicator. They express themselves from their core and light up a room. Often seen around budding couples falling in love. Green is a motivated color. So before I continue, some of you guys have really been able to speak your mind in terms of your feelings and it feels so liberating because you've never been able to do that before. And Spirit is saying that you are a master communicator and you are doing a great job. The point of this whole healing journey is for you to be able to stand up for yourself. A wounded healer is of no help to God, okay? Um, you are not supposed to be bending over backwards to save everybody. You, you need to stand on business, okay? Standing on business. And I'm so happy that you stood on business. Um, God is so happy that you are, are finally seeing that you are the prize, okay and to not be out there wondering what you're missing out on no people should be wondering what they're missing out on with you okay um let's see green is a robust color for a full life and it can inspire us to to new experiences like travel art and culture okay so that's the messages from archangel Raphael. we thank you king all right guys i just want to say i'm very proud of you guys for speaking your mind standing up for yourself and look i'm just realizing i'm wearing green as well so confirmation um it takes a lot to do that and i just want you to know that you are not alone you're constantly being backed by your angels you're constantly being backed by god um, and if you need any answers to anything just pray about it pray about it ask your angels for guidance um the thing is we have to ask because everything is of free will so it's not going to be just like okay i know i think you need help but it's like do you want the help you know it's, be open to receiving that help and that guidance and listening to that inner voice um it's gonna always be the key Alrighty, guys so don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm now doing reiki healing sessions and i'm also doing personal readings you can dm my instagram at empathic.earth dot angel on instagram it's a brand new instagram now like i said i just made one um so yeah so have a good day guys love you guys bye